Hi everyone, I am hopeful that all you will be fine. In the last session, we have learned how we can get the user status report okay, using the Zoom reports API. So we are keep moving with the uh, reporting API and in today's session, we will learn how we can actually get the user's meeting report. Okay, so for that, we first need to create a const variable for the endpoint. We say here user meetings. Okay, and we need to assign that report users and we say user id okay and we set meetings at the end and here for the placeholder user id you can pass either user email or user id which you can get from the user object of from the zoom rest api so that will be a great like uh, a string and you can also pass me if you are using the user level OAuth app. Okay. So we need to export this. We say user meetings, we need to format. And then inside the Zoom reports helper, we first need to import that. Okay. We say user meetings. And at the bottom, we need to create a helper function. We call it user meetings report async. And we need to pass the filter and set the arrow operator. So inside the filter, we can use uh, from to to query parameters and from to to have a date value, and that will be in this format yymmdd. And we can only use a maximum date range within a one month, and that month will be live within a last six months only okay so and then we can also use the type query parameter so inside the type we can use three values like we can either use past okay for the all the past meetings and we can also pass past one okay and we can also yeah, uh, use past joint okay so inside the past means all the past meetings of that user will be fetched back if we are using past as a type query parameter and if we are passing the past one, that means we will fetch all those meetings in which only participant count is a one, okay? And past joined meetings, if we are going to use that as a, as a type query, then we will fetch all the meetings which have hosted by that user or joined by that user, okay? And we have also page size as a, as a query parameter so default value of that is 30 and we can next use 300 okay and if uh, in the response we have a uh, records which are greater than records greater than 300 then we have a multiple pages so for the multiple pages we have a next page token okay so these are the parameters we can use so let's first build the URI so we say user meetings URI and we use the string interpolation. We say API based URI and here we say user meetings. Okay. And inside the user meetings, we must be replace the replace the user ID placeholder. So we say user ID. Okay. You can either pass that inside the filter. Okay. So you can pass a user ID. For this session, I am just directly passing my email, okay? So you can pass any three of them. So freelancer.gmail, okay? And we are just going to add the query parameters. So we say here from, okay? So from if filter dot from is available then we are assigning that if there is a no any from then we need to create a local variable here we call from new date and we just set last month so we set it by just getting the month and minus one okay that means the last month and here we say from dot to iso string dot split from t and just get the zero index okay and we also pass to and if we first we check if inside the filter we have a two 
then we will get that if there is a no init to and then we just need to use state dot to iso string and split okay so split from t and get zero index and then we are going to use type so we say if inside the filter we have a type okay then we are using that if there is a no any type then we are using fast okay by default and we also setting the page size at the end we say page size so if the page size is available inside the filter dot page size then we are using that if there's a no in then we are setting 300 to the max okay and here you can see in this in this endpoint response we have a uh, maybe we have a records greater than 300 okay so it is a possibility so that's why in one request we can only pull a 300 records but we have a need all the records against that user so that's why we need to apply some iterative logic so that we can keep uh, requesting that endpoint using the same query or filter parameters to face all the records. So for that purpose, we first need to create a promise. So we say new promise, and we say async resolve reject, and here we need to create a variable of type array. We call it user meetings, okay, and result type array, and we need to create a do while statement, okay, and basically I have uh, created a page request helper inside the utils, okay, we set date await page request and inside that we need to pass user meeting URI and we also need to pass filter our next page token okay so basically I have a created that page request helper here so this is for the and I have a use inside this uh, set timeout so I have implemented that for the multiple page requesters using the next page token so you can uh, get that uh, what's the logic inside that by watching my previous sessions okay and just come back here okay so we just need to continue and we say here if data dot have meetings in the response then we need to assign those inside the result so we say here user meetings result dot concat and concat data dot meetings okay meetings and we also need to place a check here we just need to find if in the response we have an next page token then we need to assign that inside the filter we say data dot next page token and else we need to first remove the next page token and then we resolve from here and we return back the result okay and inside the while we need to place the condition so we say filter our next page token is available then keep looping until the next page token will be null or empty so then we need to bind then response response return response and also we need to bind the page so we say error and here we need to return the error okay and i think need to remove that white space format the code and export this so user meeting report and inside the apis we need to create an endpoint so we first import user meetings report helper and here we say a get endpoint api dot zoom slash reports and user we say user and meeting either we say users meeting okay 
with async request response and first we need to create a user meetings await and call user meetings report and path request start okay and return response.json and pass user meetings we need to format the code okay and just open the terminal and type in to start and then just copy this endpoint first and we need to place a breakpoint here just request from the browser okay so we say a local host for 1000 we need to remove this double slash so we hit enter okay, so we have a response and inside the response we have default past meetings and which is account 40, 14 okay so we continue and we need to now use the page size so we say page size will be 50 and the type will be fast one okay we need to hit enter and inside the terminal you can see there are multiple pages okay so inside the response you can see we have a 133 records okay and we have a set at the page size to 50 okay so that's why in the first request we got the 50 and another request we got also 50 and in the third request we have got the 33 records so that's why we have a two pages here requests okay and inside the response we have a 133 records and you can see this is the this is the past one okay you can see here we have a participant count one you can see here is a participant count one so that's why past one means only one participant count meeting will be returned fetched back okay so for the remaining one type query parameter called past join it is i'm uh, leaving for you that you can just build this endpoint and just test okay so I'm hopeful that you have uh, enjoyed the session. If you have any query regarding the session, then just please comment uh, your query on a video comment section. Either you can share your queries and suggestions by my shared uh, contact details, either on WhatsApp, either on email. Take care. Bye-bye.